Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky My Face is back to another Sprocket video. If you guys haven't seen the previous video, I have actually done a webcam video before. However, if you guys haven't seen my face, there I am. Hi, how you doing? Anyway, today in Sprocket, we are going to be building a tiny, well not actually tiny, we're going to try and build a three-person tank that is decently armoured for World War II and decently fast for World War II, so we're probably going to say about 40 miles an hour. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie then, I'm not entirely sure how big this thing should actually be, but we're gonna go with 5.5 meters long by... I mean, that actually seems like a decent sized tank already. Uh, however, we are gonna make it a tiny bit smaller, we're gonna make it 2.2. Uh, instead, actually we'll just make it two because uh, reasons, there we go, and that is a hell of a lot smaller than it was, which is uh, a good thing, actually. We're going to go ahead and angle this in quite a bit right there like that, and that actually looks quite nice. I, I really like the way this thing looks already. Uh, with that being said, we are going to make the front um, flatten, there we go, that makes sense, that looks awesome. Uh, and yeah, I really like that. Also, just to let everybody know, when I say words like, that makes sense, uh, and I say it a lot, uh, it's because when you make videos, you, you end up having like filler words, kind of? Not intentionally, but it does happen. So, if I say words constantly, over and over and over again, I'm sorry. It just happens. Alright, well anyway, we have actually started to build quite a nice, uh, quite a nice tank already, which is kind of strange, because we haven't really done anything. Uh, but anyway, the lower bit, we're going to raise up to 1, there we go, which is way too high, actually. No, we need it to be smaller. 0 0.9. 0 0.9. Alright, we're going to try and go with that. It seems a little big, but it might work. Alright, so mobility, we're going to go to the tracks. We're going to go ahead and make these guys all the way up to the tippity top, just like so, but a little bit smaller. There we go, that's awesome. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what kind of shape we want to go for with these guys though, so I'm going to figure that out real quickly. Alright, so we're going to go to suspension and we're actually going to go ahead and add these guys in, or these guys, there we go, that actually works. Uh, if we can, we're going to make those bigger, there we go, like that, that's actually awesome. We're going to lift this guy up to about there, that seems pretty good too. And then what we're going to do at the back is we're actually going to leave this just like that. That actually looks pretty sick. I do actually really like that. Yeah. Alright, so I'm actually thinking that looks... That actually looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do with a gun yet. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but as for the tracks, that totally works. Uh, I am going to go back to the base and we're going to move this bit backwards a little bit. Now, the reason I do that is because um, if the this wheel hits the ground first, that's a good thing. If this hits the ground first, that is a very, very bad thing, because the tank will stop. So, we obviously don't want that to happen, so there we go. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and lower this down a little bit. Let's lower this down a little bit. It does mean we'll have a bit of a chunk there, but that's okay, because uh, the rest of it actually looks fine. Yeah. Alright, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, figure out the rest of this then. I think for the mobility, we're going to go with the fender. We're actually going to go ahead and make it this type, because I find this really, really cool to look at. So we're going to go with that. But we're also going to have to try and figure out how big we actually want all of these pieces to be. So the angle of this dude is going to go up. The front offset is going to come all the way backwards to there, pretty much. And then the angle of this guy all the way up. Alright, very nice. At the rear, we can leave it as is, because, yeah, that looks, it looks nice. Totally works. Alright, so as for the gun and stuff, I'm not entirely sure how I want the gun to look. I, I think we want a decently large gun on this thing, but I'm not entirely sure. Actually, before we get to that, armor of this guy is going to be around 50 mil all the way around. Uh, for reasons, there we go, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 on the sides, 50 there as well, 50 at the back as well. Actually, we'll go with 30 at the back, because that just makes sense. We don't want to get shot in the butt, but um, there we go. Alright, very nice. As for the roof, can I get rid of all of that, and can I get rid of all the belly? There we go. Alright, so we should weigh a lot less now, which is awesome. Um, 50 does seem a little bit much, though. We're going to go with 50 right here as well. There we go, okay. Uh, so we might be able to take a shot, depending on where it hits us. That is 70 mil of armor, which is pretty good, actually. And then the bottom is 260, depending on where we shoot it from. That's actually really, really good. 
Uh, right, okay, cool. So what I'm thinking there then, is because that is so much armor, we're actually going to extend this up, and we're going to push this back a lot more, and then that will actually be a hell of a lot more armor. Also, I'm going to make this strip a lot of armor, because reasons. So front strip, there we go, a hell of a lot of armor, and that's good enough for me. So if we get shot in the front, 100 mil, get shot in the side, 200 mil, get shot in the bottom, 200 mil. Okay, you know what, that's awesome. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and start working on the turret then. So the turret is going to be about the same size as the top of the tank. We're going to make it a little bit taller, because we usually do. And we're going to make the midsection uh, a lot skinnier in terms of length. There we go. We're going to make the back of this guy quite, quite far back there, like that. And then on the front, we'll actually have it angled backwards a tiny touch. And to me, that actually looks really, really cool. Uh, and we'll be able to have our gun right on the front of that. Yeah, okay, cool. So, decent sized gun. I would probably go for... I kind of want to go for one of these, I'm not going to lie. I think that would be pretty sick. Uh, but it doesn't really fit. What about one of these? There we go. That, I mean, it doesn't really fit with what we've got, does it? But, actually, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. It looks weird, but at the same time, kind of like it. Uh, again, this thing does actually have a gun of sight on it, so that's awesome. Uh, crew, we're going to go ahead and start putting these things on because we should. This guy's going to go at the back right there. I think that actually works out quite nicely. Driver's seat is obviously going to go down here on the front, just like this. Awesome. Uh, antennas, we're going to go with these guys back here somewhere. And maze balls, that's really good. Uh, stowages. Now, if I could add these, that would be great. So I'm thinking right there on the side would actually look really cool. And yeah, I think it does. We're going to add like two of these guys right next to each other because I think we should. So we'll add those right there. And we'll add another one that's a little bit smaller down here on the side. All the way down to about there. Oh, there. Alright, and that looks pretty sick to me. Actually, we are going to move it forwards a bit. So, down to the edge. There, like that. That actually looks really good to me. I like it, yeah. Uh, right, cool. Crew hatches. We're going to put these guys on the top of there. They might not be able to get out, but we'll see, I suppose. There we go, make them a little bit smaller, actually. If I could do the same angle as this, that'd be perfect, but I can't. Right, so we're going to put these guys right about here. That's awesome. Yes. Uh, good. Lights, we're going to go ahead and put those guys. Uh, ooh. Oh, down here on the front, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. Good. Uh, angled back end, we're going to go ahead and put these guys on. Awesome sauce. Uh, and then we just need to fit all of the equipment. So, these guys can go straight on the side like this. Okay, that totally works. These guys could go on this side like so. Alright, that's awesome. Yes. Uh, these we're obviously going to put on both sides as well. And on the back. And maybe even on the sides. That would work out quite nicely. But there we go. That looks nice. That actually looks really nice. Alright, we're going to add one of these guys again. Uh, of course, they look nice, but obviously they do serve a purpose. But on this tank, I don't know. I like the fact that it's round. But at the same time, because we can't have round turrets, it looks a little bit odd. It does. It looks a little bit strange. Alright, then anti-infantry. We're going to go ahead and go with a 50 cal right on the top right there. We're also going to go ahead and go for these gun mounts. Uh, if we can, right about here on the front. Which, unfortunately, I can't actually add these. That sucks. We could put them down there, but there's no point. I would love to be able to add a gun to the side of this, but I can't do that either. So I think what we'll do is we'll leave these off. Alright, and then maybe we could actually put a machine gun here. Like a tiny one? There we go, like, just in case we need one? I don't know. That's kind of weird, but the gun would still be able to turn, so makes sense. Alright, cool. Utilities, logs, we will be not adding logs. Very good. Mobility, that's fine. We need to go to the fuel. Get rid of all the fuel right there. Make it about 50 litres. There we go. I know that's not very much, but that's okay. External fuel tanks are going to go in the back. We'll have two. Right about there. And we'll have them be this way up. Okie dokie. That is... That works. Good. Engine. We're going to go ahead and have the vents on the top. Like so. Uh, I usually do two right next to each other. And in this situation... We are going to do two right next to each other. Can I make these really tiny? Because I would love for them to go in the middle, but I can't. Unless I did this. There we go. And then I did this in the center. And we had two of those guys. 
I mean, that looks that looks okay. I kind of like that. Uh, right, okay, engine, exhausts. We always go with these guys, so I think what we'll do is we'll actually go with these guys again, but they're going to go a little bit smaller and a little bit lower, and they're going to point out down there. Okay, good. Vents are done, fuel's done. Uh, tracks, they're all A-OK. -okay. Track segments, we're going to make look like this, which look pretty awesome. Spare tracks, we're going to go ahead and whack those on there. Um, because that just makes sense. And we'll also add some spare tracks on the, the rear. There we go, just like that. I mean, they look weird though. They do, they look a little bit strange. We're also going to put some up here too. There we go, the ultimate extra armor machine. Oh, we can put some there. Yeah, that works too. Alright, very nice. Extra tracks added, very nice. Uh, the wheels and stuff, we're going to leave them as is. I might make them a little bit wider though. Because at the moment, they're not that wide. So we will do that. There we go. Width of the road wheels. We'll extend those all the way out to there. Awesome. I think this thing looks sick. I do. It still weighs 34 ton though. And that is too much. That is too much tonnage. We need it to weigh less. A lot less. But first, we need to work on the gun. Alright, cool. So we are going to make this a... I mean, a 75mm gun does fit this tank very, very nicely. So what we'll do is we'll keep it a 75mm. Uh, we go with 1.75 right there. Very good. And the length of this, smaller. There we go. All right, cool. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, we will add... Mm, we'll leave it with this. We'll leave it like that because uh, I think that looks pretty sick. I like it. Good. Uh, right, gunner sights we've already got. Everything else we've already got. Mobility, this thing should move. Engine, we're going to go with a light engine. We're going to make this a two liter. Two, there we go. We're going to sort out all these. Three, four hundred. Very nice. Uh, which is less than the max RPM, but that's okay. Uh, one, seven hundred, right here. And then three, four hundred, right there. Okay, sixteen horsepower per ton. Pretty good. We need, we need it to weigh less. So what actually weighs the most here? Armor weighs a lot. Transmission weighs a lot. Tracks weigh a lot. Jesus crinkles. Okay, right, tracks. Can we make those weigh less somehow? Track width, we can make them skinnier, but we don't want to. 60 is fine. Length of the tracks. I'm going to make it look like that, I suppose. Alright, cool. Thickness, we can make them thicker or thinner. I think we're actually going to make them thicker, which is a bad idea in terms of actually adding weight, but we've added weight. That's fine. Uh, what else can we do? What else can I do to lower the weight? I'm not sure. Alright, uh, front strip being 140. I'm going to leave that as is. Okay, the lower section can actually be less. We're going to go with 30 mil. Okay, the sides are actually going to be 30 mil as well on the upper section. And on the lower section, there we go. Okay, very good. Uh, and that is fine. We're also going to go ahead and angle these quite a bit. Okay, so the shape of this, the angle of the bottom end, this guy is going to go in a chunk. And that's going to get rid of some of the weight as well, which is awesome. Um, yeah, alright, good. I, uh, I'm going to allocate the crew a lot more space as well, because we should. Um, realistically, I did want a three-man tank, uh, but we've actually ended up with a four-man tank, because there's no point in getting rid of a guy if we can fit them, you know? There's no point in getting rid of a person for that. Uh, right, okay, we are, however, going to put this piece on the front, which is going to be tiny, but that's okay. There we go, just like this, that's awesome. Uh, very good. Okay, cool. Livery, decals, there we go. Go ahead and place the decal right here on the side. You guessed what country it was going to be. American. And I think that actually totally works. Yeah. We're also going to have a star on the front as well because it just makes sense. Here we go. Very small one. There we go. Change it to American star and put this back on there. All right. That actually looks pretty sick. I like it. Oh, I guess we could save some weight right here. I mean, these gears actually weigh quite a lot. Also, if we just make it like seven instead, uh, that'll make the gears smaller. There we go. And if we do this, bam, and this, bam, there we go. We now only weigh 26 tons, which is not bad, actually. Alrighty, with that being said then, let's go straight back to the firepower. There we go. Go to the ammo, and we'll actually get rid of some out of the turret. There we go. And we'll actually have 30 of each inside the hull, because that makes sense. And that's actually really, really good. Since we've got a little bit more room, we're going to go ahead and make the gun caliber bigger. Uh, we're actually going to make it an 88 millimeter. Yes, that's huge, but that's okay. 
Uh, and we're going to go ahead and make this um, like that. There we go. And then the length of the barrel is going to come all the way out to here. And there we go. 157 millimeters of penetration. That's awesome. Um, yeah, 88 millimeter. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, by one. I think we're I think we're good to go. This probably adds quite a lot of weight, right? We're gonna make this 35, and we're gonna make this 30. All right, and then we're gonna make these guys 30 and 25. All right, it gets smaller towards the end, but that's okay. That's all right. Uh, and we have to make it longer, and that's okay. We now weigh 27 tons. Amazing, but I actually think this will work out quite nicely for us. Yeah. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and start driving forwards. Yes, okay, very nice. We're in third gear, now we're in fourth. I wanted to go like 40, 40 miles an hour if I could. So let's drive to the beach and we'll see what we can do here. I'm sure we'll be able to get a decent speed out of this. I think. Oh my god, I just blew up, I just blew up one of those things by accident. Alright, here we go, down to the beach please. It takes us a little while to gain speed, but that's alright. Once we are gaining speed, we will be good. There we go. And I'm not sure what the top speed I wanted. I think it was like 40 miles an hour. Currently, we're going 30. Let's continue. We are out revving the engine too much. 26 miles an hour? Not too bad, actually. Yeah, not bad. All right, tell you what. We're going to go ahead and add another gear. Because I think that the gears, if we have more, we might be able to go a little bit faster. So we're going to go with... Three reverse gears, we're going to make this uh, 12, there we go, we go 12, this 12, there we go, awesome, and we'll see how that goes, we're now a 30 ton tank again, but we'll see if this helps us out at all, I'm not sure it will, but I don't know, there we go, we want it to get to like 30 at least, right, but we're struggling, we are actually struggling quite a bit to get to 30, in fact I've just slowed us down, that's all I've done. Damn it. Alright, you guys ready? I've changed it down to five. Here we go. So, we're in five. We've still got like seven gears. So, we're going 20 miles an hour. We're in fourth gear. There we go. Awesome. We're going 24. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, you know what? Not too bad. Let's get down, down onto the beach so we can go in a straight line and see what speed we can get up to. I think we can do quite good here. Alright, here we go. Down the hill, let's go. Speed and power. Yes. Alright, cool. We're at 32, 33, 34. Alright, 33, 32, 31, 30. In a straight line, this tank actually goes like about 26 miles an hour. Or something like that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Alright, so now all we need to do is check out its gun. So, let's go ahead and spawn in a Centurion because we should. Uh, we should be fighting a Centurion. There we go. Good. And we should be fighting it. Here we go. You guys ready? We're going to shoot it straight in its face. There we go. It died. Okay. You know what? Gun's pretty good. Gun's pretty good. Cromwell, let's go ahead and spawn that guy in. It might ruin me. It is my tank. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. We took out its engine, but its gun still works. So watch out. Uh-oh. It killed me. Oh, it killed my gunner? But it... It ha oh, it killed my gunner and my loader, but nothing else. Interesting. Wow. But yeah, this thing isn't meant to just take hits. This thing is meant to drive around and take, like, pop off shots uh, while also, like, just surviving. So let's just drive around and pop off a shot. There we go. Amazing. Yeah, totally works. All right, so that right there is a panther. Let's go ahead and shoot it. All right, okay, this is going to be a challenge now. So that's a good thing. Alright, here we go. We're supposed to drive around. Hopefully it doesn't hit us. There we go. Alright. We're the agile tanks. So that's good. And then we kill it from behind. Amazing. Yes. Totally works. I spawned in another one. It's going to shoot me straight away. I'm driving. I'm driving. Hopefully I'm quicker than the panther's gun, which I believe I am. Alright, we can just drive around the back of it again and shoot it in the butt. Okay, engine's out, but it's not dead. Not yet, anyway. Oh, look at that. It's turning its gun. Okay, it's engine fire is out. Uh, I, I mean, I could just shoot it here again. Oh, down there. No, here. There we go. Alright, very good. And then, finally, I'm going to kill it. So, drive around the back of the turret, and I believe if we shoot it from the back of the turret, we'll be good. There we go, ready? There we go. Awesome. Yeah. 
All right, well, this tank actually works out quite well. It does actually work, which is awesome. Uh, it's a little tiny bit of armor isn't amazing, but I think we might be able to tank a shot from the panther, so I guess we'll give it a go. All right, there's the panther right there. Let's let it shoot us, and we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and track it real quick. There we go, we tracked it. So it should just stop and shoot us. All right, here we go. All right, we tanked a shot from a panther. That's good enough for me. Where did it even hit? I'm not sure where it hit me. Shoot me again. Shoot me again. All right, there we go. That time it killed me. I think it shot me in the turret that time. Yeah, makes sense. But anyway, uh, I actually really, really enjoyed building this thing. I want to say thank you guys very, very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, leave a like on the video down below. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.